welcome back to the Fine Film Podcast. I'm your host, Sin George. Dane B, welcome back. It's been a while. It's been a while, baby. And it'll be a while. <laughs> it was a little hiatus. We've uh, moved studios, but we're back in it, baby. Mm-hmm. Um, better than ever. <laughs> better than ever. Um, there's been a lot of movies that we've, have come we've, out. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're gonna to review a lot of old, old, old movies. I'm talking movies. I'm talking every week. I'm talking <laughs> so many movies have dropped in the cinemas. We've missed a bunch. Mm-hmm. We're going to play it's catch, catch up, up time. Yep. We're on holidays. We're going to smash them out. Mm-hmm. We're going to be coming, coming to you really strong. Mm-hmm. Um, today, we're going to do a double, a yeah. double review. A quick double. A quick double review. Mm-hmm. We watched these a little while ago. But it's uh, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Mm-hmm. And then we're also going to talk about the spectacular Eternals. Eternals, yes. So two Marvel films that have released, right? Mm-hmm. Fairly recent. Mm-hmm. Um, we won't mention Spider-Man because that's a whole different thing. Exactly. We'll do it at a later time. Yep, yep. Um, but we're going to talk Shang-Chi yes. or Shang-Chi, mm-hmm. uh, which is a, a question I had for you. What do you think is, is the right pronunciation of, yeah. of Shang's I'm, last name? I'm not, I just know he's. it could be Sean. <laughs> I think from, it's Sean. <laughs> from what we remember from the movie. Um, but yeah, it's yeah. if we do stuff up the pronunciation, please We, we do us. apologize. Yes. Um, but did you... How did you feel about Shang-Chi? Did you like it? <laughs> I did. Yeah? Um, I really refreshing. liked Shang-Chi. Refreshing. Yeah, I really yeah. liked it. It was mm-hmm. refreshing. It was, um, it was like... It was different enough to make it refreshing in the mm. Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm. Um, especially like, obviously like... They're bringing in the Chinese culture into the film. Mm. Like, I really love that aspect of it. Mm. Like I told you, I think after you watch this, I really like the dragons and yeah. stuff like, <laughs> coming into frame. Yeah. Um, but I think like it was just a really fun movie to watch. Yeah. Um, like you always talk about, I hate when you say superhero fatigue. Oh, it's so... But um, it, it did feel so different. And mm. especially to the same formula that's used for yeah. Marvel movies. You know, um, I think the use of flashbacks and the way the origin story was told, it was almost, the movie had weight and it had depth. Whereas a lot of these other movies, you know, great fight scenes, great, oh, the comics, this and this, and you have to know this. But I felt like, you know, not knowing anything, you felt like you got a whole complete story. Yeah. There was an emotional connection throughout the entire film, whereas a lot of MCU films don't have that. Exactly. Exactly. And it was good, you know, I loved how... The use of subtitles. Like, yeah. it wasn't like, oh, let's, you know, just yeah. make it for like, you know, True. a predominantly English You lazy speaking. fucks, yeah. just read the subtitles. It's an English speaking audience. You can yeah. do movies, majority of that, That's and it, it shouldn't affect the, yeah. the viewing, you know? Exactly. It's quite lazy for some people. But yeah, amazing. And mm. uh, for me, what did it the most, because like, when I grew up, like Matrix, Crouching, <laughs> Crouching Tiger, Hidden yeah. Dragon... Um, all these like Jackie Chan films, yeah. you know, um, love the fighting style. You that kind see of the like, kung fu, yeah. yeah, the slow motion kind. It's not slow motion, but it's done in a way where yeah, it's like yeah. choreographed and it mm. looks, oh, it just looks beautiful to see. And that I love those types of fights. Yeah. You know? It's like almost a bit of a dance. Mm. That's yeah. It's, yeah. Well, it's, it, it, it feels like cinema. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, like you said, like a dance, like, you know, yeah. musicals have their like different Like you're dancing, you know, but you're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's, but it's like, it's, it's visually yeah. impressive. And yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's a spectacle. Well, what I really like, like you said, like there's, there's a good emotional connection between the characters. Obviously like Shang-Chi, mm. you know, he's pretty much like away from his family, like pretty much runs away or whatever. Mm. But they're like the family dynamic, right? His dad being mm. the fucking mm. what's what's the, the, the Mandarin? Mandarin yeah. Yeah. I was about to say the Mandalorian, mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Mandarin, right? Yeah. And I liked that because, like, first of all, this this guy's fucking been around for thousands of years. Yeah. Just fucking killing, <laughs> fucking getting Taking all that power. Over, yeah. Exactly. But then he falls in love. He right? falls in love. <laughs> he falls in love. Someone he's almost equal yeah, yeah. and it kind of changes comes from like a secret um secret society secret, yeah, secret <laughs> village or um yeah. hidden village yeah <laughs> where um they kind of have like a power there as yeah. well and they're True. keeping that that area they do the dance thing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful it yeah. was it was great to see and then yeah. um but that makes him like softer right and mm. from that blossoms this like family right yeah and little sean's mm. born right? yeah little sean and his sister, <laughs> and his sister right yeah um, but then, obviously, you know, you see how the story plays out. Yeah. And, you know, you see the. the By the way, this is a spoiler-heavy yeah. review, <laughs> just in case. Yeah. So you see how it all plays out, and um, I don't know. Like I said before, wait, it had depth. Yeah. You know, you really felt connected, and I don't know. Like, what? What's mm. the last name? Of another like, MCU film that you were like, yeah, super connected to. Go name it. Go. I can't. I can't name it. 
I don't know. Maybe maybe Star Lord. Yeah, maybe Star Lord because you're like yeah, he's taken away from Earth. Mm. Like yeah. his mum's passing away. Mum's passing away. Like I don't yeah. know though. But yeah, that's who, right. Who else? Well, everyone else is like, you or, know, or they've had like five movies to tell, like yeah, you know, exactly. their background story. Well, this was all movie, done yeah. in one. Like it was, it was just done like you connected amazingly. to it. Well, like mm. you said, I like the authenticity. They're using like mm. subtitles, speaking the language. Mm. I mean, you know, you can nitpick and say like, there's a couple of scenes where you know the dad's talking to the kids. I mean, surely they could just you know speak the language well. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, speaking. It was great. Like, so, what did you think of um, Aquafina? I I liked her. See, I like Aquafina. I'm a fan of, of Aquafina. Yeah. I've been hearing she's she gets she cops it. She does cop it. Yeah, yeah. like people don't like her. I, I think she's is it the raspy voice. I don't know. Is it because she raps? Yeah. <laughs> what I, is it? She's a what multi talented. Well, well, she's know? too talented. Is yeah. that the problem? I don't know. She was great in this. She I didn't think she overdid it. No. She was great. Like I don't she know. fit the story well. She was mm. good, like comic relief at times as well. But also a love interest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we didn't really. Sounds like they were um, just friends, right? Right. And then, uh, and then her mom's like, "When are you just gonna yeah. fucking get it on? <laughs> yeah, when are you gonna fuck already?" Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, no, I, I thought she was amazing. Um, mm. still don't know why she cops it. You know, yeah. especially that movie we watched, The Farewell. Oh, the farewell. She's yeah, great, and on she that. can, you know, yeah. actually, you know, drama acting. Oh, she's she can do the drama yeah. acting as well. Mm. Before we uh, we move on, um, mm. they fixed the Mandarin issue. They did. They fixed. It's it. a big one. Mm-hmm. It's a big one. Remember Iron Man three. Iron Man three. We were like Ben Kingsley. Yeah. Great fucking great character, Mandarin. Mm. He's gonna kill it. Yeah. We watched Iron Man three. Mm. Super disappointed. Oh, you're like super what? Disappointed. What is this garbage? I don't know. But in this. They, they explain it. how angry he was, the actual Mandarin. Yeah. He's like, who the fuck are you trying to well, be? Well, it was like a like a rumor, like there's this Mandarin. Yeah. <laughs> He's bad. Yeah. Yeah. And then they just kind of like used that and fucking ran with it for this fucking whole mm. other person, mm. right? But I love how he captured him and he's yeah. like, he's kept him all this time. What's and... his uh, name again? Kingsley's oh, name? The actor? Oh, it's like some English. It's like some stupid. <laughs> yeah. But like, it was just awesome that like... Trevor. They, yeah. <laughs> they incorporated it into the movie and didn't yeah. just ignore it. Like True. it was so good to see and that he was yeah. happy to come along and um, yeah. be a part of it. I know, yeah. Because mm. he's a like... He's a know, huge actor, yeah. He's a big, you know, like, know. English actor. English actor, mm. Trevor. <laughs> so it was great to... They great. really fixed it. Like yeah. it's good that they did that. They mm. could have just left it and be like, oh, whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah. We'll but I guess they have to address it because I guess there's, the Mandarin is. You know, well, I guess that, yeah. There's you know? a lot of. There's always you know, uh, mm. like worse kind of. Um, yeah. Uh, what do you call like um, surprises or in film, yeah. and it's like that. True. You know, that moment. That like, was the. Oh, moment. what the fuck? Yeah. And it, it was Guy Pearce. Yeah. The whole time. <laughs> Where is he? Yeah. But you know what else I liked um, before we move on to anything else? Yeah. Um, like, the the whole thing about like his dad, like is he kind of bad, right? Because mm. in the story. He's done he's, a lot of killing. He's done a lot of killing and he's, he's a bad guy, right, in a way. But he loses his wife, obviously, right? Yeah. So, you know, Sh- Sean's mom sacrifices yeah. herself, saves him, whatever. Yeah. She dies. But he thinks that he could save her and then she's in that fucking special mm. place in that fucking... Mm. The what cave. is it? The, the, yeah. yeah, the cave, right? But it's mm. someone else whispering to yeah, him. Yeah, it's just evil spirits. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he's fucking, you know, obviously he's driven, you know, by love and also mm. like losing his wife to kind of get her back and mm. stuff like that. So all the sh- all the bad shit he's doing is kind of for that, mm. for a good reason in a way. Yeah. And then even when fucking Shang fights him at the end, mm. it's kind of like... I'm, you know, like, does he? I don't know if he says like he's sorry, kind of, but he kind of like, yeah, you know, like it's he kind of redeems himself, mm. and you know, Sean gets the rings or whatever, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But I, I like that because he wasn't just like a I'm evil, you know, I've always killed people and whatever. Mm. Like his 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 dad was actually a, a really great villain, great villain, yeah, yeah, and yeah, like, and the big thing is with Marvel, it's like mm. all their villains are garbage, garbage, there's no, yeah. there's no depth, there's no nothing, there's yeah. no like. Sh- you know backstory on how oh. they became to whatever it's always maybe some alien or yeah. some like sort of bullshit but that's the thing and then they always go it's just really low-key and like thanos have been like yeah. um developed you know more depth to them yeah. yeah um but yeah we can add another one in i know yeah it's because they use the flashbacks you mm. see the father you know mm. father and son moments you see great. Like, yeah mm. no very yeah, yeah agree I completely like so what would you rate the movie i reckon four out of five yeah yeah i would yeah like because like when you rate like you 
you enjoy the story mm. it was fun mm. good action it kind of has all the elements that you kind of mm. want yeah, yeah. i yeah. think i would give it like i would give it like an i would give it like an 85 percent that's more than a four. <laughs> that's a four point two five. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like that's it. awesome. All right. Let's move on to the flip side of the coin. <laughs> Eternal. Eternal's God. Uh, I just thought it was it was a bad movie, but it had great moments. Yeah. But they just weren't harnessed enough. Like it just. You I don't expected know what, a lot. Yeah. I remember when um, Kevin Feige came out like I don't know mm. a year or two ago, and he's like. Chloe came in with this Chloe amazing Zhao. pitch, and yeah. I, we were all blown away, yeah. and we're like, we're giving we her. We couldn't the believe the words she yeah. was saying, and um, <sighs> like disappointing. Again, it, it would have been tough as well because the this whole story is complicated mm. in itself. It is. A lot yeah. of characters to mm. introduce to the crowd. Mm. The movie fucking runs for two hours. It's the second longest um, MCU movie behind yeah. Endgame. It's fucking why, why? why would you do that? Like, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. For especially for like actors that aren't even big actors. Like the biggest actor to me is Angelina. Angelina. She's a superstar through. Selma through. Hayek's pretty big. Oh, and Selma, right? But yeah. Selma's spoiler review. <laughs> barely in it. <laughs> barely, um, yeah. But the other actors, um True. guy from Game of Thrones. Richard Madden. He's not a superstar. No, he's not, but he's sexy. Yeah. I mean, they're all sexy. <laughs> they're Kumail all sexy. Is more, has been more of a comedian. That's true. Till now, has done drama and stuff. Great actor. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, Do you reckon he was a big draw card for the film? I feel like he was. Yeah, for me personally. Because yeah. I, I love him in all his stuff. But true. like, I don't know. To make a movie this long mm. and make it try and make it this epic yeah. with only Angelina as, you know, I guess the draw card. Sure. I don't know. I felt like it was a bit, yeah. Well, there was so many moments in the film and that's my problem with it where it's just, I feel like it drags on. Yeah. Like the scene's just like a bit boring. Mm. Like you're doing these flashbacks mm. to fucking... Because like obviously these fucking Eternals have been around for so long. Yeah. So you're like going back and like... And you're trying to introduce five characters and yeah, tell yeah. everyone's individual everyone's story. story. Oh, why she's upset. I why know. she's in love with, you know, him. And or... like by the time like you're, you're so deep into the film, then you kind of go back to one of the characters like, oh, I forgot that that guy was <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also a part of it. Yeah, like, I know. And you yeah. fuck, you're pretty much drained oh. by it. And then you try to introduce Jon Snow, Dane oh. Whitman. <laughs> well... I was going to bring that up. He's probably my favorite guy. <laughs> but you know yeah. what I mean? They're trying to bring so all who's these... who's this fucking Dane guy? Oh, my God. They could have, they could have made an hour, like a 90-minute movie. Maybe, I don't know. Short, just short. Pull it back a bit. But even then, I was thinking, this movie doesn't even need to be in the MCU. This, yeah. Like, for the plot. The plot is, it's <laughs> the Earth's a breeding ground for this these, celestial... Yeah, celestials. I think it's Tiamat or something like that. Yeah. Um, but the, the Eternals are there, like, you know, unknowingly. Yeah. To, to, they're kind of brought into existence to stop they? the deviants from um, eating the eating the humans <laughs> so, and stuff to grow yeah, the earth yeah, so that so. way the bit more the earth grows then by the time the celestial's ready to yeah, you yeah. Know, destroy the earth and go but I hate that like if you think about it mm. Steve Rogers yeah Tony Stark like all these like superheroes aren't like just from yeah. an organic thing it's like I know it's organic but it's like the earth was created by someone else it yeah. wasn't just like an organic seed that's blossomed or whatever well, you know that's, what I mean? Does the, that make sense? The interesting part now, it does make sense. The interesting part is that now that you have fucking these, like so many Marvel films, yeah. and every, like there's so many that have their different like lore of like yeah. what, you know, creation or what life means mm. and what the earth is. Like, you know, you can look at like Thor and he's a god and he's yeah. like whole thing. But then you got like, you know, these multiverse things and you got like... I feel like it's becoming way... It's becoming like, what is mm. truth? Like, I can I can, I can, can get on board multiverse. Yeah. But then it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh no, like, you know what I mean? Like in different people's cultures, like, sure. you know, even different in shang yeah. that would be like, oh, the, you know, the earth's banned from this. You exactly, know what I mean? Yeah. But really, it's these celestials I know. <laughs> that are making the earth But is bigger. that the thing? Bro? And then the Eternals are protect. Like, I hate but that. who created the yeah. celestials? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> No, yeah. it's just I don't know. It's yeah. just they. I don't know why they've thrown this in. This could have been honestly. Just... It was just kind of like a shit thing. Like so, like okay, now they're like the they have to. They found the truth, right? Yeah. That this is what their purpose is. Yeah. And they can't really save the humans. They're all gonna fucking die. But yeah. they've been looking after him for this whole time, right? Mm -hmm. So they're like, what the fuck are we doing? And they want to save him, and mm. and they're like, no. plot twists. Yeah. But then, but then I understood. Um, what was Richard Madden's character? Um. Icarus. Icarus. Yeah. I understood where he was coming from. Like, he's yeah. like, no, this is my purpose. He wants to be perfect. I was made for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
These, I'm doing my fucking job. Like, all the people that have lived before and stuff yeah. wouldn't have come to be if it wasn't for what yeah. you know their mass. I forgot what you know what sent them there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like put yeah, them true. there. Like that that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for yeah, the thing. Yeah. And and he says the old purpose for this is like mm. this has happened like millions of yeah, millions yeah, yeah. of years. Like the this way is the what earth. We do, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. That was the other thing. So that I was like, I, I agree with him. Like, yeah, yeah you should kill you the kill earth. everyone. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Destroy like, yeah. everyone. It was stupid. You know what? Also, like, I can nitpick. Like, I, like in these kind of stories where it's like we've been doing this for all these years, mm. it's like why is it this scenario now that they're like, no, we shouldn't do this. like we should save like humanity and stuff like that. Like, yeah, I know, you know what I mean. It's like the they have to let each other kill each other, but then when everyone's about to die, I yeah. guess they didn't want everyone to oh, die. But this time on Earth, yeah. we're gonna. Like... I know they should have really just let them die. <laughs> like, kill know. everyone. I was, I agree with Icarus. You know, I was like. Yeah, you are a bit of an Icarus, aren't yeah. you? No, nah. <laughs> I don't like him. But yeah, so all right, let's uh, let's get to the other big big thing that happened. Um, Harry Styles end credits. <laughs> the best part of this movie. Oh my oh, yeah, Harry god! Shows up. Feels like the, the first. first <laughs> why did they play yeah. that as well? I don't know. It didn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't know why he's come, but oh, oh I did a bit of research. I yeah. can explain Harry for you. Yeah, Harry. Harry. Okay. Harry Styles plays Eros, also mm. known as Star Fox. He's, Star Fox? Yeah. yeah. That, that's like a... That's what he called. Fun. Foxy Cleopatra. <laughs> yeah. um, he's also an Eternal from the planet Titan, where well, Thanos is from. Isn't he a half-brother to Thanos? He's Thanos' half-brother. Um, yeah. His special ability is to be able to control other people's emotion, including the ability to make anyone fall in love with him. <laughs> Classic he, Harry Styles. He just wants to fuck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um... After the war on Titan um, pitted him against his own brother, the infamous Thanos. Thanos. Um, Eros traveled through space to find romance and adventure. He also became, <laughs> and in the, this is in the comics, he also yeah. became a member of the Avengers multiple times to help them against other villains and things like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. This whole movie just felt like just chuck whatever we can in. Whatever, you know? and then throw a little bit yeah. at the end there. Because even like Dane Whitman, Jon Snow's character. Black Knight. Yeah, he's supposed to be someone. So, well, that's what I thought. I'm like, why is he playing this Dane guy? Yeah, <laughs> this Dane sounds like a loser. <laughs> loser, what a name! Yeah, I know, loser. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's just throw it in. I so know. I was, I don't know. Did well, you like think I mentioned, Harry needed to be in it. Not really, but I guess it was just a Kevin Feige wank off again. Yeah. Just throw something to tease you. Get at the, the young end. girls, yeah, in, uh, young boys, the young too. boys and girls. Oh, no. Yeah, like God, it was just. Well, like I told was... you before, for me, the best part of this film. Mm. Was the voice of Blade at the end? That's one of the ask. How hyped Ali. are you for Blade? Very hyped. Yeah. Well, that that made it for me. I'm like, this movie sucked. <laughs> <laughs> but when that happened, I was like, like oh, oh, thank God I stayed. Yeah, yeah. thank God I stayed. Yeah. Mm. Um, I am very hyped. Yeah. He sounded very good. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Well, they're gonna work together now. Him and Black, Black Knight, Knight and yeah. Dane. Yeah, Mr. Dane. <laughs> Should we just keep referring to him as Dane? We not can. Mr. Black Knight. <laughs> but yeah, so they're uh, going to work together. They're both going to have swords. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just kill. But you know, it was interesting oh, when... Um, remember uh, we when we first got introduced to Kamal's character? Yeah. And he had a, like the assistant. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, he thought I was a vampire. That's right. And then that was like foreshadowing oh, yeah. for some maybe vampire. Oh, true. I but didn't pick up on that at all. So I thought maybe Blade was going to be introduced as a multiverse type oh. different Earth. And he just jumps in. Yeah, and maybe they get him to help. But now it's like there He's might been have there. been vampires all along. this whole time yeah. while superheroes, superheroes were around. around. Yeah. They were just raving. In yeah, yeah, they're in that the blood, blood rave. The blood <laughs> rave. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah. going to be super hard to introduce all these different... How has no one spotted a vampire this whole time? I know. Yeah. Or it, how is like <laughs> Steve Rogers? Yeah. No, I guess he was frozen. All right, who's like older? Yeah, he's been around for ages. Well, even Tony, if all his technology... Yeah. How is he like, hey, look, guys, look, I know we're going to, like, we got, like, to worry about, like, yeah. you know, Ultron coming up, but I've discovered there's Someone's vampires stuck. <laughs> yeah. everywhere. So, because there must be do heaps. we deal with that or, <laughs> or this <Ultron>? robot <laughs> <laughs> that I created? <laughs> yeah, that I did. So, yeah. It's... Don't worry about this that I fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So well, it's going to be tough. Yeah. Like... So, I, that's, I think that's going to be an interesting way to see how we... Um... You just have to accept these things. Mm. Like, you know, like, how hasn't this been addressed? Or where, where were you, you know? Where were you, <laughs> you Charles? Charles? Yeah. yeah. Also, um, with um, uh, 
Whitman's character, right? Zane. <laughs> yeah. Um, apparently, he's got his his comic book character mm. has a lot to do with symbiotes. Oh. Yeah. Tell me more. Yeah. So uh, I don't know a whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> apparently, um, like that sword is like can help like kill them or I think something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's a special sword. Yeah, it's a special Isn't sword. Isn't it like King Arthur's sword? It's it's not Excalibur. It's but apparently it's the counterpart. It's the replicant. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's the symbiote. Symbiote. Form, <laughs> but I think it's the counterpart to Excalibur. Like an evil yeah, sword. Yeah, it evil. is, yeah. yeah. There's something evil about his character. Well, because yeah. it was like drawing to him, but he's like, I don't want to do it, but maybe I've got to do it. Stop it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. stop calling. Yeah, fine, I'll yeah. take it. So, um, yeah, look, there's... It, like this interesting movie things. introduced a lot of things, but they could have been scrapped. Well, that's what I mean. Like this movie introduced some cool things, mm. but it's like at the you know mm. what was the point of the like I don't know. Like it just it was kind of like a bit of a waste. Mm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It, it was. Um, like I said, good moments, but it, like let's talk about Chloe Zhao for a second. Yeah, like she's a good director. Mm. She made you know Nomad Land wins an Oscar. I think she already got this job before it, right? Before nah, she won the Oscar. Was it after or before? I feel like she won a. She got before. the job before the Oscar. And then win. got the Oscar, and then everyone's like, "Oh, Chloe's yeah, gonna dominate. She's gonna kill whatever she makes, yeah. right? And now, like the like, first of all, the movie is the lowest rated, like Rotten Tomato mm. and all the other scores that yeah, they give it out. That there. with Thor two, I think. Yeah, exactly. One, yeah. So officially, it bombed, right? For mm. for Marvel. I, I mean, mean money wise, I think it's still made. Well, made I mean, money. yeah. But yeah. like, if there was an Eternals two, I really mm. don't know how that. You would don't be. know if you'll give it to Chloe Zhao again, right? Yeah, yeah. If she made it look pretty, mm. and that's her thing. Mm. But it, she didn't. The story just didn't tell mm. you again. And that might not be her fault. She's telling like the, one of the most well, convoluted, yeah. complicated stories. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, look, hopefully she gets, you know, more work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure she will. I hope you work again. <laughs> yeah. So, about let's get into some uh, trivia for both. Great. You ready? Um, I'm, I'm excited. Okay. Surprise so, me. For Shang-Chi, in the late um, 1980s, Stanley considered a film TV series about Shang-Chi and had in mind Brandon Lee. Oh, perfect. Son of martial arts artist superstar Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee for the role. Shang-Chi was visually based on Bruce Lee anyway in the comics. Fuck, yeah. Um, so Brandon seemed a fitting choice, but the plan fell through. So it didn't go through. But that's pretty... Yeah, so that's it was based cool. on um, Bruce Lee. Like, that was that's the influence cool. around it. Yeah. Um, I, like I didn't that. know this, but there's, there's symbols in the rings. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but their logos are Chinese characters. Um, Quan, which is authority. Mm. Um, Li, power. Zhuang, strong. We, extraordinary. G, um, if I'm pronouncing them wrong, please <laughs> Butchery. Me. Um, G, outstanding. Xi, influential. So she's influential. Yeah. Um, Hong, grand. Xiong, mighty. Uh, gang, strength. And we, dominant. So there's, there's two we's, but by the way, that mean that are two different ones. Oui, oui. But dominant. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. It's like Lord of the Rings, well, the yeah. gravings. Not really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I, I see where you're going. Like, at. Good, yeah. Um, many of the scenes were visually inspired by Akira Toriyama's popular manga and anime series, Dragon Ball. Oh. Yeah. And um, which Daniel. Uh, the director, uh, Destin Daniel Cretton, is a fan of. Yeah. Um, the Kamehameha energy wave is also mentioned by Katie in the yeah, film. Yeah, it is. is. Yeah, so that they was, talk that about was it. cool. Yeah, so do you, you watched... You were a boy yeah, scout. Like, once. I was did you a ever boy watch scout. Dragon Ball Z? I don't, yeah, I did a little did bit. You? Yeah, you weren't a big fan. Though. I wasn't like huge, but yeah. I've watched enough. You of didn't it. get up like early in the morning to watch. Sometimes it. I did like to sleep in, <laughs> <laughs> just late to school, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Uh, another bit of trivia: um, mm. both Michelle Yeoh, who plays Ying Nan, and Sai Chin, which yeah. is Wai Po, they've both been Bond girls. Oh, yeah. So um, Michelle Yeoh was in Last Christmas. Do you remember her? The, yeah, the, the yeah. store lady. She was in uh, Piers Brosnan's. Uh, yeah, yeah, James. Can Bond. you remember her now? Well, I watched that movie Recently. not too late, and I was like, uh, "Oh, yeah. she's sexy. Mm. She's still sexy." And yeah. um, uh, the other one, Tai Chin, was in "You Only Live Twice," which I'm assuming was a, oh. was a Connery. I think so. You only live twice. You only and she also twice. did a cameo in um, Casino Royale. Oh, great. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. I was mm. like, "Fuck!" I didn't even know she was a Bond girl. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, good Bond guess who was considered for the role of Shang Chi? Who? Name one of your favorite um, Korean actors, Korean American actors, or American Korean actor. I don't know. Steven Yeun. Steven Yeun. Uh, oh, interesting. You'd have, you'd have loved Steven. I would have liked that. He got he, real jacked. He could have. Yeah. Has he been jacked? But again, before? maybe because he's Korean, they did. They wanted to get a Chinese actor. Yeah, they wanted to keep it more authentic, mm, maybe. But would you have loved Steven? 
I would have loved that. Yeah. I definitely would have loved He got real like do, fit. Well, do you think that um, his name is, is Simu Liu, uh, the guy who played Shang-Chi, do you reckon he was a good leading man? Um, I was happy with him in the yeah. end. I was, he like carried I told it. you before, I was yeah. like, he doesn't look that jacked. Yeah. Because like, we're so used to like, yeah. um, Chris Evans getting massive. Yeah. Thor, Hemsworth getting huge. Yeah. huge. Even Chris Pratt got jacked for the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, he's a bit, he's like, he's, but like, he's a fighter. He's fit. He he's looks fit. fit, but I'm expecting like, yeah. you know, Affleck and, you know, But you don't, you don't need that. You don't need that anymore, you think? You don't need it for what he does because he is the greatest martial artist. artist in the MCU. Yes, <laughs> that is that is correct. So, um, but yeah. I think it worked though. I think, I, I think he was it. great in the end. He carried it. Yeah. Well, I think like it's great to give a, a new face or mm. I don't know if he's been in too much. I haven't mm. really noticed him. But it's great to give like a new face well, actor. I think this is his first chance. lead role. He's done other things as yeah. well in the background, but first proper but it's lead great, role. Because now he can carry it, and he can be he'll be known as Shang Chi. But right? we'll go again um, back to the movie. Why it was so great? Mm. It didn't feel like a story just about Shang Chi. It felt no. like a story about like a family and, family, and the generations of what's happened. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, back to the trivia. Back to it. Um, so now I'm back. Now I'm going to Eternals. Uh-huh. Uh So Makari. Um, was portrayed by deaf actress Lauren Ridloff. Ridloff. Oh, yeah. um, but she's actually deaf. She's the first MCU um, deaf superhero. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So I was actually, I was, remember I was asking him, like, do you reckon she's actually deaf? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you know how they like, there's this big they thing could do now. It, yeah, you know? yeah. But it That's was cool. awesome. Authentic. Yeah. I like that. I, I really like that. should do it. more of that. Yeah. I'm sure she'll be in um, more projects to come. Yeah. Was she Sprite? Uh, oh. No, no, no. She's Makari. Oh, Makari. Makari. Yeah. yeah. She's the really fast one. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah right. Sprite was the. Little the one in, in love with Icarus. Yeah. Jealous of Icarus. Uh, um, okay. This is the currently the lowest rated MCU film in review aggregators on Rotten Tomatoes mm. and Metacritic and Cinema Score and Fine Film. <laughs> and Fine Film as well. Um, okay. Uh, the Eternals. Um, so the Eternals serve as precursors to heroes that appeared in previous phases of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm. So, Cersei yeah. is, um, with her transmutation powers, is an eternal version of Vanda Maximoff. Oh. So, each eternal is like someone we've already seen in the Avengers. What do you mean? So, Icarus, with his abilities of flight and shooting lasers, is an eternal version of Vision. Vision. Get it? But how's he an eternal version? Like, he's like a version of Vision, but he's an eternal. Oh. It's like he's similar to an Avenger already. Yeah, yeah like okay. There's, yeah, there's precursors. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. So they're like, like already is that actual? Stat- they're like, it's not an actual thing, but it's like, it's like a, a copy, if that makes ah. sense. Like we've already seen it before, but now they're like, yeah, uh, different yeah. as okay. an eternal. Interesting. So Athena, um, no, uh, precedes the future warrior women in the MCU, notably the spear wielders Sif and Dora Milag, which I don't know. <laughs> oh, Sif is the Thor one. Is no, it? no, Sif is uh, someone else. I'm not oh. too sure. Oh, yeah, Sif and Thor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Warriors. I think that's um, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Um, Giglamesh, eternal predecessor to Thor, a mythological warrior and the strongest of their team. Mm. Um, Fastos is the inventor. Remember the guy who makes the yeah. thing? Yeah. He um, he's, to- he's supposed to be Tony Stark. Oh, true. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Druig is a version of Mordo and Cassilius, which I have no idea who they are. Mordo. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Kingo is uh, a version of most of most lighthearted MCU heroes, um, notably Volstagg, who enjoys himself when he takes his time, mm. stealing Icarus Smith for filmmaking. So it's um, yeah. Kamal says supposed to be like the uh, what he called his the, character um, was good. I like yeah, it. he was supposed to be like the I guess yeah. um, comedic relief, but yeah, he was. kind of wasn't that funny. It wasn't. Yeah, that I didn't remember funny. anything memorable from him. And yeah. Makari is supposed to be Quicksilver. Yeah, because yeah, she's super fast. That makes sense. So yeah, so that's all my trivia. But yeah, interesting. Yeah. yeah. So what are your final thoughts on both? Shang Chi again. Really oh, loved just, it. Oh, yeah. just a breath of breath of air. Breath of fresh air. God. Yeah. Yeah. I loved it. Like yeah, mm-hmm. fun movie. Good emotional connection. Mm-hmm. Family. Mm-hmm. You know, you got the subtitles. Eternals. Flashbacks. Everything it's not. Opposite. No Terrible. Bad family. Bad, <laughs> no bad use of flashbacks. Yeah, bad use of flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, no was... subtitles. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. Just mm. like a bit too much of a setup film. Mm. Like Introducing so much. So you know, much. The but stakes. looking forward to another Shang-Chi film. Definitely looking Especially forward to Especially with the that. sister. Is the sister She's bad? Evil. Is she taking over the the dad's kind of you know? Yeah. 
I in think she is. She's going to take business him. Business to make it evil though. I think she will. Yeah, because she's gonna be stayed bad. there a lot longer than um, Shang did. Yeah, true. So maybe she's worse for it. I think so, mm. and that's that's good. We've seen you know uh, you know Loki and Thor like family dynamics, one bad, one mm. good. I think it could work. Yeah, yeah. I think I it think works. it works. Yeah, All right. excellent. I think it's gonna be good. Um, but yeah, I think. Give Shang Chi a watch. It's available on Disney Plus. If mm. you haven't seen it already, mm. Eternals. Wait until it's released on Disney yeah. Plus. Don't waste your money. Yeah. Um, but hey, I've actually heard um, some people say they really liked it as well. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, not, I guess not credible sources though. <laughs> um, yeah, mm. it's it's a pretty one to watch, but uh, again, mm. failed in a lot of. It's a long watch. Yeah. And it's a bit of a hassle. Exactly. Mm. Well, uh, yeah. It's been a good first episode back. Mm-hmm. Um, great to be back. Great to be back. We're gonna we're gonna pump out a lot more. So well, we'll be we'll be we'll pumping them out. A lot up. of movies. Mm. There are a lot of uh, up up and coming ones. Um, we'll do a Bond Bond review. Mm. We've seen Dune. Mm-hmm. We we'll have to talk about No Way Home oh, as well. No Way Home will be big um, one. You know, The Matrix just mm, dropped as no. well. Oh, there's just so much. Right. Uh, but we'll be back. Mm. Thank you, Dane. Thank you, Sig. See you next time. <laughs>